Mary Sunita, working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the problems on the power spectral density. So, what is a power spectral density, and what is the relation between autocorrelation and power spectral density? So, what is autocorrelation? Actually, the autocorrelation nothing but it is measuring the similarity between two random processes. Nothing but, for example, if you take a random process x of t. Then on this random process, if you define two random variables at two instants t1 and t2, then the auto correlation between those two random variables which are defined in this random process is nothing but expectation of x of t1 into x of t2. If the random process is stationary, then the auto correlation is function of only the time difference. Nothing but t2 minus t1 is equals to expectation of x of t1. Into x of t two plus t one. For example, if t one equals to tau, then R x s of tau is equals to expectation of x of t x of t into x of t plus tau. So this is auto correlation. Similarly, can define the cross correlation. Cross correlation means you have to consider two random processes. On these two random processes, you have to define one random variable and one random process. Another random variable in the random process. Then the relation uh, measuring the similarity between those two random variables which are defined on the two random process is nothing but cross correlation. So this is about auto and cross correlation. Now what is the power spectral density? Now uh, this is also called as power density spectrum. So if x of t is a random process, then the power density spectrum of that random process. So power density spectrum is nothing but how the power has been distributed with respect to the frequency is called as what power spectral density. Now if you consider a random process x of t, then the power spectral density defined in that random process has been denoted by what s x of omega. Now what is the relation between the auto correlation and the power spectral density? Is nothing but what s x of omega is equals to Fourier transform of The auto correlation function. So this is the relation between what the power spectral density and auto correlation. Now what is the question they are given? If a stationary random process x of t has an auto correlation function which is given by R x of tau is equals to three into e power minus of mod tau plus five into e power minus four into mod tau. Find the spectral Density function of the random process x of t. It means they have given the auto correlation function. We have to calculate the power density spectrum of that particular random process. Now, what is the relation between the auto correlation and power density spectrum? Both are forming a Fourier transform pair. It means the Fourier transform of auto correlation function is equal to the power density spectrum of a particular random process. Therefore. S x of omega is equals to Fourier transform of the auto correlation function R x of tau. So, what is the Fourier transform formula? Integration minus infinity infinity R x of tau into e power minus j omega tau into d tau. So, what is the Fourier transform of x of t formula? This we know that. Nothing but what integration minus infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t dt. So what is the Fourier transform? It is converting from from time domain to frequency domain. Therefore, x of omega is nothing but Fourier transform of x of t. What is the formula here? Integration minus infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t dt, which is used to convert from time domain to frequency domain. Now similarly. The Fourier transform of auto correlation function gives the power density spectrum. So that equals to integration minus infinity infinity. So what is auto correlation correlation function? They are given three into e power minus mod tau plus five into e power minus four into mod tau. So they are given as what three into e power minus mod tau plus four into e power Plus five into e power minus four into mod tau. So here, plus five into e power minus four into mod tau. 
So this is the auto correlation function they have given into what they have here e power minus j omega tau into d omega d tau. So that equals to what integration minus you know, infinity 3 is constant. So you can rewrite this equation as what? So 3 into integration minus infinity e power minus mod tau into e power minus j omega tau d tau plus here phi is constant, you can bring it outside, then you can write this function as so integration minus infinity e power minus 4 into mod tau into e power minus a omega tau d tau. So this is what the Fourier transform of the auto correlation function. Now what is e power minus mod tau value? That equals to what? e power tau for what values of tau? when tau is less than or equals to 0. So, when tau is less than or equals to 0, it is what? e power tau. When tau is greater than 0, then what is e power minus mod tau value? So, nothing but because mod tau equals to minus tau when tau is less than 0. So, for negative values, mod tau equals to minus tau. So, minus tau into minus tau, what do you get here? Plus tau. So, e power tau. For positive values of tau, what is mod tau value? Plus tau. So, e power minus mod tau for positive values of tau. Therefore, you can write this as what? 3 into integration minus infinity to 0. I am splitting this uh, minus infinity to infinity as negative values and positive values. What are the negative values? From where to where? From minus infinity to 0. So, from minus infinity to 0, what is e power minus mod tau value? e power tau into what you have here e power minus j omega tau d tau plus for positive values of tau what do you get here 0 to infinity e power minus tau into e power minus j omega tau d tau. So this is what the first one and similarly you can write down the second integral also. So you can write this as plus 5 into integration minus infinity 0. So for negative values what is mod tau minus tau. So minus 4 into minus tau what do you get here plus 4 tau. Therefore e power 4 tau into e power minus j omega tau d tau plus 0 to infinity e power for positive values of tau from there nothing but from 0 to infinity nothing but positive values of tau. For positive values of tau what is mod tau value tau. So e power minus 4 into tau nothing but e power minus 4 tau into e power j omega tau d tau. Now let us simplify this one. So that equals to what here? 3 into integration minus infinity to 0. Here you take e power tau as common. Then what can you obtain here? e power 1 minus j omega into tau into d tau plus from 0 to infinity here you take e power minus tau as common. Then you can obtain as e power minus tau if you take common you will get 1 plus j omega into d tau. So this is a first integration. So when you go for second integration value here minus infinity 0. So here what do you have here e power 4 tau into e power minus j omega tau d tau. So here in this e power tau is common. So you take e power tau as common then you will get 4 minus j omega. So here what do you get? 4 minus j omega tau into d tau plus integration j to infinity e power and the next integration take e power minus tau as common. If you take e power minus tau as common then what can happen here? Here plus 4 and here minus j omega. So here 4 minus j omega into d tau. So if you take here e power minus tau common 1 plus j omega and here if you take e power tau common then you are getting 1 minus j omega. So that equals to 3 and integration of what is uh, e power minus j omega tau with respect to tau nothing but e power 1 minus j omega into tau by 1 minus j omega plus and the integration of e power minus tau into 1 plus j omega with respect to tau. Then what can happen here? e power minus tau into 1 plus j omega by minus of 1 plus j omega 
plus 5 into here what do you have integration of e power tau into 4 minus j omega is what e power tau into 4 minus j omega by 4 minus j omega plus and the integration of e power minus tau into 4 minus j omega is e power minus tau into 4 minus j omega by minus of 4 minus j omega and here what are the limits of tau minus infinity to 0 and here 0 to infinity and here minus infinity to 0 and here 0 to infinity. Now we substitute the upper and lower limits then what can obtain here 3 into and equals to 3 into so if you substitute the upper limit so e power 1 minus j omega into 0 nothing but e power 0 what is e power 0 value so 1 so 1 by 1 minus j omega so here you will get 1 next and minus minus so if you substitute tau as minus infinity so e power minus infinity what is e power minus infinity value 0 so e power 1 minus 0 by 1 minus j omega plus next substitute the upper limit so e power minus infinity is something so what is e power minus infinity value 0 so here I got 0 minus and if you substitute the lower limit so e power 0 into something you get e power 0 so e power 0 nothing but 1 so 1 by minus of 1 minus j omega plus 5 into here if you substitute the lower limit upper limit what can happen here e power 0 what is e power 0 value 1 so 1 minus 0 by 4 minus j omega plus 0 minus if you substitute here so what can happen here 0 minus 1 so 0 minus 1 by minus of 4 minus j omega that equals to so if you take a common if you take LCM then what can happen here 1 minus j omega into 1 sorry 1 minus j omega into here 1 plus j omega here what is the denominator you got here so e power minus tau into here 1 plus j omega so here 1 plus j omega and here e power minus tau if you take common so 4 minus j omega so this is e power minus tau e power minus j omega tau so here will get here positive so here also plus then here we will get plus so 1 plus j omega minus of so if you take common here then what can obtain here 1 plus j omega so what is 1 plus j omega minus of 1 minus j omega so 1 minus j omega so if you take common here then you can obtain so if you minus of minus you get here plus so 1 plus j omega into 1 minus j omega so here 1 plus j omega plus 1 minus j omega here plus 5 into so minus of minus you will get plus so 4 plus j omega into 4 minus j omega if you take LCM, you will get 4 plus j omega plus 4 minus j omega. So that equals to 2 by, so a minus b into a plus b. What can happen? a square minus b square. But what is j square value? Plus. So you will get 1 square plus omega square plus 5 into. So here 4 plus 4. So here plus j omega minus j omega will get cancelled. So 4 plus 4 nothing but what? 8. So 8 by 4 plus j omega into 4 minus j omega nothing but a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square but here having j they will get plus here so 16 plus omega square that equals to 6 by 1 plus omega square plus 40 by 16 plus omega square this is nothing but what the power density spectrum of the given autocorrelation function so how we are calculated here so they have given the random process and this autocorrelation function what you have to calculate you have to calculate the corresponding power density spectrum what is the relation between autocorrelation power density spectrum both form a Fourier transform frame therefore you have calculated the Fourier transform of the given 
autocollation function. What, what can you obtain here? You got here 6 by 1 plus a omega square plus 40 by 16 plus omega square. So this is the answer. Next one is the power spectral density of a stationary random process is given by Sx of omega equals to a for omega from minus k to k and 0 otherwise. Find the autocollation function. So what they are given here? They have given the power density spectrum. What is that value? This is value is a for what value is of k when so for what value is of omega when omega is from minus k to k and 0 otherwise. So what you have to calculate? You have to calculate the autocorrelation function. Then how do you calculate the relation between these two? Both form a Fourier transform pair. So it means they are given the power spectral density, frequency domain. You have to calculate its time domain. Then how can you obtain here? Rx of tau is equals to inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density function. Then what is the inverse Fourier transform formula? 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity Sx of omega into e power j omega tau d omega. So that equals to 1 by 2 pi and what is the power spectral density value? When omega is from minus k to k that value is equal to a. Therefore a into e power j omega tau into d omega. Here a is constant bring it outside. Then integration minus k to k. So minus k to k e power j omega tau into d omega. So that equals to a by 2 pi. What is the integration of e power j omega tau with respect to omega? So what can you obtain here? The e power j omega tau by j tau. For what values of omega? When omega is from minus k to k. Now we will get a by 2 tau. So what is here? a by pi tau into 2j into substitute the upper and lower limit. Then what can you obtain here? e power in place of omega you have to substitute because the integration with respect to omega. So e power k tau minus e power minus j k tau. So what is e power j theta minus e power minus j theta by 2j nothing but sin theta. Therefore here a by i tau into in place of theta we have, we have k tau. Therefore sin k tau. This is nothing but what? The auto correlation function of the given random process. So next question is what? Given a zero mean stationary process x of t and its auto collision function is rx of tau when power spectral density is sx of omega. So what they are given that? They have given that x of t is a, a random process which is of which type? It is a zero mean and a stationary random process. Therefore, what is u of x of t equals to zero? And it is since it is stationary for all, for all values of t, what are the value of t? It may be its mean is equal to 0 because it is stationary random process and its mean is 0. After that what they have given that? They have given that rx of tau is the autocorrelation function because it is stationary the function of only the time difference. And then they have given that the power density spectrum of the corresponding random process is represented by Sx of omega. So what you have to calculate? You have to calculate uh, the auto correlation function and the power spectrum of y of t is equals to x of t plus a, where a is a non-zero, non-random real constant. So what they are given that? They are given that y of t is equals to what? x of t plus a. So they have given find a new random process in terms of the defined random process x of t. So then what is y of t equals to x of t plus a. So what you have to calculate? You have to calculate the auto correlation function of the random process y of t and you have to calculate the power density spectrum of the uh, defined random process y of t. Since x of t is stationary and a is a constant y of t is also a stationary only. Then what is r y y of tau? Auto correlation function formula, nothing but expectation of x of, so this is not x, you have to calculate the auto correlation function of the random process y of t. Therefore, e of y of t into y of t plus tau, e means your expectation. 
is expectation of y of t into y of t plus tau, which is the auto correlation function of the random process y of t. But what they have given y of t as x of t plus a into then what is y of t plus tau? You just replace t by t plus tau in this expression. Then you can obtain as x of t plus tau plus a. That equals to, you just multiply this two. Then you can obtain as what? x of t into x of t plus tau. So x of t into x of t plus tau plus x of t into a. Nothing but a into x of t plus a into x of t plus tau a into x of t plus tau plus a into a is nothing but what? a square. So this is a square. Then how can I discuss what? Expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau plus a into e of x of t plus a into e of x of t plus tau plus e of a square. Now what is the expectation of x of t and x of t plus tau? That is nothing but what? The auto correlation function of the given random process x of t plus a into. What is e of x of t and x of t plus tau for what? All the values of t. What is mean is equals to 0 they have given in the problem. Therefore, e of x of t is 0 and e of x of t plus tau is 0. And what is e of a square? So, a into 0 plus a into 0 plus what is u of a square? a square only. Therefore, that equals what? rx of tau plus a square. This is nothing but what? The auto correlation function of the given random process y of t. Next, what you have to calculate? You have to calculate what? The power density spectrum. So, find the auto correlation function power density spectrum of y of t. It means you have to calculate the power density spectrum of the function the random process y of t. What is the relation between the auto correlation function potential spectrum both form a Fourier transform field. Therefore, the Fourier transform of the auto correlation function of the random process y of t is nothing but its power density spectrum. Therefore, Fourier transform of what is R y of tau? Nothing but R x s of tau plus a square. That equals to Fourier transform of Rx of tau plus Fourier transform of A square. Now, what is the Fourier transform of Rx of tau? Nothing but the Fourier transform of the auto correlation function of the random process X of t. Is nothing but what? The power density spectrum of the random process X of t is represented by what? Sx of omega plus A square into Fourier transform of 1. So, what is a Fourier transform of a constant? C uh, A equals to 2 pi A into del of omega. So, in place of A here 1. Therefore, what can you obtain here? Sx of omega plus A square into 2 pi into del of omega. This is what the power density spectrum of the defined random process y of t. So, next question what they are given here? A white sense stationary process x of t has power spectrum Sx of omega is equals to 2 by 9 omega square plus 4. Find the average power of x of t. So, what they are given here? They have given the power density spectrum. What you have to calculate? You have to calculate its average power. So, this you can calculate by using the auto correlation function. So, what is auto correlation function? Is nothing but what? Inverse Fourier transform of the power density spectrum. Therefore, is the formula here? 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity infinity sx of omega into e power j omega tau d omega that equals to inverse Fourier transform of what is x of omega here 2 by 9 omega square plus 4. So, this how we are writing here take 9 as common then you can write as what 9 into omega square plus 4 by 9. That equals to what? Inverse Fourier transform of inverse Fourier transform of 2 by 9 by omega square plus 4 by 9. So 4 by 9. That equals to inverse Fourier transform of 
here I am bringing this 1 by 9 here outside then 2 by omega square plus 2 by 3 whole square and you can write this 9 as what 3 so 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 therefore you can write this as what uh, you can write this as inverse Fourier transform of 2 into 2 by 3 <coughs> by omega square plus 2 by 3 whole square since here you have multiplied with 2 by 3 how divided what 3 by 2 then what can happen here 1 by 6 into inverse Fourier transform of 2 into 2 by 3 by omega square plus 2 by 3 whole square that equals to what 1 by 6 what is inverse Fourier transform of what is the Fourier transform of e power minus a into mod tau nothing but what 2a by 1 omega square plus a square in place of a what do you have here 2 by 3 therefore here you can write this as what e power minus 2 by 3 into mod tau this is nothing but what the auto correlation function what you have to calculate you have to calculate the average power so if you want to calculate the power what you have to keep you have to keep the auto correlation function at tau equals to 0 therefore the average power p average is equals to what 1 by 6 into e power z and equals to what 1 by 6 watts so like that for the given problem if they give the auto correlation function you can calculate the power density spectrum and you can calculate the average power similarly if they give the power density spectrum you can calculate the auto correlation function and the relation between this power spectral density and the auto correlation function is called as what vanier kinchen relation Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.